today we're gonna go on a little river adventure. We're about to jump into the kayak and then there is a river entrance with a bit of a surf wave covering the entrance. So this is gonna be an interesting one with two people and a dog and a one person kayak surfing into the river entrance. But we're gonna give it a go. Hopefully cameras are gonna stay dry. pattern there is sometimes a moment where there's no breaking waves so obviously that would be a good moment to go in there if we see that it's too crazy that we're just gonna board and then someone's gonna go with boa on land and the other person's gonna surf into the entrance that's the plan Well, getting into this river entrance did ask for quite some muscle power and concentration. But we made it in safely and just had to bail some water out of the kayak before continuing our adventure up the river. Our friend Jason had told us about this river trip, and we totally love it. We took a break in the middle of the dense jungle, went for a refreshing swim, and had a picnic listening to the magical symphony played by nature. I have absolutely no idea how Jason made it up this river with a dinghy, because wait and see what awaited us upstream of our tranquil picnic spot. Remember how I said I wanted to keep those cameras dry? Well, make sure you watch until the end.
just finished our first night sail from the Gulf of Dulce, Puerto Jimenez, to Drake Bay, which is around 60 nautical miles. What wasn't so good is that I sort of overestimated what Mark knows about sailing bigger boats. He is a sailing instructor, but for like small boats. So he obviously knows about sailing, but I hadn't asked enough questions really on what he knows in detail and what he doesn't know. So although we had been doing two little day jumps in the Gulf of Dulce, when we left for this slightly longer voyage, I realized that it was the first time that he was actually hand steering with a tiller on a bigger boat and also the first time sort of steering by you know like a plotter and also the first time steering wind by a wind instrument or you know just having to sort of stay a certain degree towards the wind i didn't realize these things before and then when we we're out there i was like whoo okay um you know we have to like sort of start with some basics because especially like during the day it's a different thing but then if it's night you rely a lot more we think that you rely a lot more on the plotter and I noticed that we were sort of going all over the place <laughs> and and first I thought maybe he can see the plotter well enough and then I realized that he had never been sailing with a plotter or a boat at night like this and obviously you know you can't see things so well at night so once I told him to sort of try and find a bearing like a star or something just a rough idea or also just getting a rough idea of how the wind feels on your face or how the movement is towards the wave when you're sailing at night so not to get lost or confused and not rely on the potter so much because the little projected line will always take some time to adjust. So once we figured all of that out, things were going a lot better. It was still a really good trip. Nothing broke. We had very little rain. We learned a lot how we work together as crew. That's it, first overnight. Whilst I have to do a bit of office work, Mark is gonna cook some lunch for us. Intentaré hacer un risotto. No prometo nada, pero... Un risotto de barco. Lo voy a intentar, exacto. Derecha, izquierda. Ah. It's a good time for full tanks, for washing your laundry, surely not for drying. It's the time where everything is the greenest, and it's very beautiful. And it's the time of free and long extended showers, watering your plants. I'm gonna use this rain burst to get out some tools and go on a hunt for a bottle of wine. I built this pretty shelf here. I built it on top of the sitting area and below the sitting area is my booze storage. So when I built it I was like, well, you know, at some point I'm just gonna cut a little piece out of the wood on the bottom so it can sort of like flop open and then you just put a little lever on it to open and close it. Yeah, the hinges. But Never did it so far. But since Mark is cooking a risotto, it's a good moment to cut this open and see if there might be a bottle of white wine in there. Woohoo! Vino Blanco! Si. Si. Wow! Mucho vino. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro botellas grandes de vino, una grande de whisky, 
Wow, this was worth it. Sweet ass! Oh! Bueno, vamos a probarlo. A ver qué tal. a couple of wonderful days here in Drake Bay and although it's quite busy with tourists we love that we found our little hidden river gem. Time to enjoy the sunset and get some rest before we lift up anchor to sail to Uvita. But more about that next time.